This video is brought to you by Longoni Cues. Hi pool players, this is Terminator. Welcome back to another episode of Terminator Tips. In this lesson, I have a great drill for you that's probably the most fun way to practice your shot making and get better at the same time. I'm gonna build it up for three levels again, C to C plus players, B, B plus, and then A all the way up to pro level. Let's just jump onto my pro start table and show you what I'm talking about. Alright pool players, here we go. There's only one big rule to this drill and that is we're going to do everything in threes. That means you have to make three shots in a row that score you one point and you need to get three points to continue the rest of your potential workout. What's cool about this drill, you can pick any three shots that you find challenging for your game and combine them. What I do, for example, if I've been sparring or played a match and there was a certain shot or more of them that were challenging on that day, I'm going to combine them into three shots right here on the practice table and start my daily routine with them. What can also be helpful is that you mix certain types of strokes. So, for example, a roll shot, then a draw shot, maybe a power stroke, a soft touch shot, mix it up so it's challenging to execute it and it's not going to be repetitive the whole time. So get yourselves one of these, make three little tables, write down some shots that are challenging for you. You're going to get a ton of power out of this drill and the things you can expect to improve are your shot making, you're going to get sharper, your focus is going to get better, your intensity, it's great for match simulation, coming with the big shot in a rack that you're struggling with maybe and your aiming is also going to improve. I'm going to give you some examples now for each level and show you what this could look like. This first example is for you C, C plus players. I'm not that great with the Fargo rating system myself but let's say you've been playing for about a year, year and a half. You can run a couple of balls in a row but you cannot run a full rack yet. So this first shot is a nice tester, straight in draw. You want to get about to the middle of the table. Doesn't have to be written in stone, but you got to hit it nice and crisp. If you mess it up, you just put it back up and continue your run. From there on, we're going to do a nice roll shot where the object ball is close to this diamond here, and we're going to finish it off with a long stop shot. So three nice technical shots going to look something like this. that's pretty good doesn't have to be perfect around this area here then we set up an object ball about a chalk away from the middle diamond we want to just roll this one in and get to the other side of the table for a nice long stop shot so this is a roll shot First one was a draw shot, and now we finish this. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. Remember the video where we want to try and make the pocket play as big as possible. I'm going to put a link in the top here. We want to hit this shot with the draw stop shot and not blast it. That way we can rattle it. When we shoot it this way, we make the pocket play bigger. Let's jump on to the second little three-shot routine. So here, for example, we're going to start with a long straight-in stop shot once again. Then our next ball is going to be a shot from the yo-yo workout. Look that one up here, link in the top. Great workout. We're going to start actually, if the cue ball lands here, with shot number one. From that yo-yo your ball in hand you want to cross past over the side somewhere in this area and then we're going to set up a long nice straight in roll shot where the cue ball has to come back into the kitchen so nice technical shots you got to do all three in a row or you don't score that point let's check it out the first shot, we 
put up that ball. A little bit of low right here. Nice technical smooth stroke. Fast aside, and then from here, we set up a nice straight in roll shot. We have to get back into the kitchen. Three different strokes. There we go. So that scores you one point. To do your second point, mirror the shots. So start from here and here. Then set up the yo-yo shot from here and do the last one the opposite. Then you get stronger on both sides. Let's continue on to two variations for B, B plus players. Here we go sports fans, let's build it up a little bit more. First shot again from the yo-yo workout. This time we're going to freeze it on the rail. It's going to be a bit more challenging. We're going to start with ball in hand somewhere around the spot. Doesn't have to be written in stone depending on your level. Your confidence with this shot we need to draw this ball in low left get back past the side we're gonna land somewhere here then let's say that week for example you missed the winning bank shot you set up a bank almost straight in towards the side pocket fire that ball in that's your second one you're gonna end somewhere here with stun on the bank and somewhere here and finish with a spot shot where you have to go two rails back into the kitchen. That's an example of how your three shot routine could look like. There's the first shot. Let's set up a bank right here. We don't have to super blast it, just a nice stun shot. Minimal cue ball movement. And then we end it with a nice spot shot, getting back into the kitchen. There we go. That's the first version. Let's check out another version. Second version, let's say you played a match, you broke the balls in nine ball, this was your opening shot after the break and you missed it. Let's replicate it. That's gonna be your starter. You wanna cut it in, but control the cue ball, it's gonna come back into the kitchen. Let's keep it behind this line, so speed control. Then we're gonna follow it up with a nice long straight and stop shot. So again, different stroke, a roll shot, a stop shot, and finally, our third shot is going to be a follow shot with some inside spin going around the angles and back into that kitchen. Three different shots, three different strokes. First shot. Keep it behind that diamond. Set up a straight in, about there, it doesn't have to be written in stone, something challenging for your level. Again, hit it nice and crisp. And we end it with a ball close to this diamond, just a hair off. Nice follow shot with high right. One, two, three, four rails back into the kitchen here. There it comes. And I'm not embarrassed about it. I need a few tries on some of these variations, but that's fine. When I'm talking sometimes it's hard to focus. That's all right. It's about the process, so don't be embarrassed if it's not working out right away for you. It has to be challenging, and therefore, you're going to focus more and more. Let's continue to the A through Pro player versions. Here we go with the really challenging shots pool players. 
First shot, as an example, set up a long draw shot like this, draw the cue ball back to this reel, but it's not allowed to pass this reel more than one ball, or you have to start over again. From where it lands, you could start here, you could start there, always mirror your shots. From there, we take a spot shot, we make that one in the corner, and our last shot then is a jacked up shot, object ball, middle of the table, cue ball, one ball out of the corner. Finally got that one. I won't lie, that took me a lot of tries. I kept missing those jacked up shots. Finally got there. Good practice. Let's move on to variation number two. All right, so here's another variation of three shots that we have to make to score one point, and then we have to do that three times. Remember, three points to continue your regular workout. Let's say again, this was your opening shot after the break. You missed it. Let's start with it. Why not? We're gonna roll it in, cross over to this side of the table, slightly off the rail. Then our second shot, we're gonna do a draw shot, spot shot. To make it in here, cue ball has to draw to this long rail first and somewhere here, whatever, and then we're gonna end it with a nice tough cut shot. Pure shot making, tough to do, great practice. nice so that would be your first point and then you would have to do two more not in a row but just two separate ones mirror them like I said before so then start on the other side get the three I needed a couple of tries on this one again <laughs> this isn't easy let's continue to the final example and for the final three-pointer three more annoying shots long straight in roller then we put up an object ball here Cue ball will end somewhere here. We're gonna draw it in with inside spin, going one, two, three rails into this area, and then finish it off with a nice cut shot to the corner and going four rails around, touching this rail last. Tough, tough little layout. Let's go for it. that fourth rail 
finally got it, pool players. <laughs> Woo! You know, what's tough about it is because the strokes are not the same, is that you never really get into a groove with hitting the same kind of shot over and over what you would normally expect from doing a shot making workout, perhaps. Here you have to do draw, stop, follow, force follow, try to mix it up, get out of your comfort zone, and you're gonna have a lot of challenging shots, but you're gonna get better fast. There you go, pool players. This should really give you a nice boost for your shot making, aiming, focus, technique, the whole works. Don't forget to check out all the other great content on the channel. There's videos here uploaded weekly for you. Browse around, check out the playlist for different topics. And remember, if you're interested in the mental side of the game, head over to the famous Terminator College Check out all those courses that are waiting there for you to get better. See you in the next episode.